Welcome YouTubers, um, my swap magic just arrived today and I'm going to show you how to get um, SNES Station or Super Nintendo games on the PlayStation 2. Now if you look at my drive, my, my CD burner drive, I've got a blank disc in there and that's going to, to hold all my uh, Super Nintendo games. Some of them may run crappy, some of them may not. I've seen videos, but oh well, now I'm going to switch to Hypercam. Okay, the disc has been inserted. Your computer should have read it as a blank disc. If not, um, delete it. Delete the files on your disc if it's a CDRW. Just give it. Now, um, the program that's mu much recommended to do this sort of thing is there's a program called Nero. Make sure it's Nero 6. Nero 7 you have to download and pay for. Alright, go to make your own data disc. This shouldn't take long. Alright, go to add. Find the folder wherever you put your SNES station under. The original files. SNES station. Alright, highlight whatever you want to put up, put under on the CD. Press add. Should be there. Simple enough. Delete the text file if you have it on there. That's useless. Next, find whatever folder you put your ROMs under. Uh, go back. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Back to that. ROMs two. I just put. I just highlight the folder and put it in there. All right. When you're done, press finished. It should go under as my disk, and as you can see, um, it, it only takes just up a little bit of memory, not much. Now, when you press next, um, call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna put mine as Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo. All right, you want to burn it at about um, times four speed. There's a whole lot. I'm oh, sorry about that. I subscribed to to um, micro to um, video game stuff on Yahoo Alerts. Um, if do whatever else you want to do on here, I just leave this alone. All right, if you're completely finished, start burning it. This should only take like a um, few few seconds, depending on what you put on there. Starting to burn. It's at sixty-six percent already. Just, uh, give it a minute. One sec. All right, it's done, and it, it should pop up this message. Um, switching back to the webcam now. Give All right, once you burn it, well, let's, let's just pop this thing out. There you have it. Your burnt uh, Super Nintendo for the PlayStation 2. And now, let's just pop this thing in the PlayStation 2. The console, sorry about that. Let's just get the camera angled in. Alright, there we go. Next, you are you must have swap magic. This is what makes um Super Nintendo playing possible. Without it, um you can't really hack into your PlayStation 2 and do this. Are you um, it, no, it is not store-bought. You must buy it online. Um, and this site called East Airland ha has it. Um, it. There's quite a few options. Um, I ordered mine express, but um, it just came in really late. It was supposed to come in like the day after I ordered it, ordered it um, but it never did. And I just, I literally just got it today, September 26th. The, the one day after Halo 3 was released. 
All right, let's boot it up. All right. You may think that your PlayStation's uh, doing crappy stuff, but uh, it's actually not. This is just how it boots up, first of all. All right. Swap Magic 3. This is the startup menu, and once it gets to this program. Once you have your PlayStation 2 modded, the tape and tissue method, no, I do not have the fat one, but it's a much different method if you do have a fat one. Just simply take out the disc and replace it with your just burnt CD, if it works. It's just try first of all. No, you do not have to shut your thing, your uh, cover. Give me a minute here. Yeah, I'm sure. <sighs> my computer's like all the way over there, and my TV's just like right here, and I can't do both at this at once without you know who. All right, let's boot it up if it works. There we go, and there you have it. Now I'm going to show you how this thing works. It plays like a really crappy song. It, you may think it's annoying, but you'll get used to it. All right. Now press triangle if I'm angling this right to set all your all your options during the game. So you can choose between mo mono and stereo. Let's see, sound decoder. You, nobody wants that. Display frame rate. That's like your uh, frame rate if you had a emulator on your PC the display mode not really sure calibrate screen like you can move your screen left or right using the d-pad or up and down all right this is very hard for me all right um says oh yeah this filters like for the L and R stuff this is your L and R it and if you press these two buttons, it's the L2 and R2, this takes you to like a menu during the emulation that you can switch stuff. Alright, let's boot up a game. Um, let's try Mario All-Stars. Alright. Yes, mine does have this, but just ignore it. Press the X button. Should go away. You may think this sounds crappy, but this is just the best it can do. Let's try the classic Mario Brothers. One player or two, two player. Um, doesn't really matter. It may play crappy, but who cares? I have another disc, it does not play this crappy, the sound. Secret, everybody knows this as well. If there are lines on TV, I, I can't, I don't, I don't see them because uh, my computer's over there and I can't really look. And this is just about it, so... Like, until next time, thank you for watching and have a good day. Give me a minute.